Right, hi guys and welcome to Forking Allotment. Today I'm going to be talking about what we can sow and grow in January. This is for the USA and Canada. I've been asked to do some sowing and growing guides for the USA and Canada. Um, so when we talk about USA and Canada, as with a lot of other places, we use uh, hardiness zones. And it's the USDA, which is the United States Department of Agriculture, hardiness zones. Um, we go from zone 1 all the way up to zone 10. So... What can we be doing this time of the month, this time of the year? It's still, it's still the cool season in all of the USDA zones. Um, but depending on where you are, you're going to be sowing different varieties of vegetables and flowers. Um, so what we can be doing is just checking out the different zones. So if we go from USDA zone 1 to zone 5, these areas you may have to content yourselves with growing um, stuff indoors like shoots or uh, microgreens because it'll be too cold outside to actually grow anything um, at this time. USDA Zone 6. Gardeners here have more variety um, than in Zone 1 to 5. So we have indoor vegetables and herbs. So we can be sowing seeds such as celery, parsley onions and leeks these can all be sown now indoors um, flowers that can be sown outdoors um, there's still time to get daffodils in um, and if you get a decent freeze then you may get them to flower well this year indoor flowers so we can start off our spring flowers such as begonias broilia delphiniums dusty miller pansies and snapdragons under lights um, indoors. USDA zone 7. So January, uh, what I will do is I will do, um, if you need me to, I will do a video on the USDA zones and what where for, where, what places fall under which zone um, if you would like me to. So carry on. Zone, uh, zone 7. So January weather is hard to predict in this zone. Um, but there are more possibilities than in zone six. So indoor vegetables and herbs, again, you can start off your celery, parsley, leeks and onions. Um, but you could also, towards the end of the month, you could be sowing broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale and lettuce. Um, indoor flowers. So seeds of geraniums and calais can be started at the end of the month. And outdoors, we can be sowing larkspur, poppies um, and nigella which can benefit from freezing and thawing. Sorry, trying to change the page on my notes. So USDA zone 8. Gardeners here have great options um, for this time of year. It's a lot warmer than the other zones. Uh, what I will say is the zones, as you go up in number, the zones get warmer. You guys from the US probably know this. Um, so indoor vegetables and herbs. We can be sowing celery, onions, leeks and parsley early on in January. Um, and also peppers can be sown indoors since they need a long growing season. Um, Mid-January, you can also sow broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale and other cooking greens, um, as well as lettuce indoors. Um, so outdoor fruit and herb, veg and herbs, sorry. If your soil can be worked, then bare root asparagus and strawberry plants can be planted this time of year. And it's also a good time to plant fruit trees. Um, if the winter is mild, you can transplant seedlings of onions, broccoli, cabbage, chard or kale, but harden them off first. Um, and keep the row covers handy just in case you have a cold snap. If the ground is not still saturated, you can sow root vegetables and hardy greens such as beets, bok choy, carrots, um, radishes and even peas. Outdoor flowers in zone 8. Um, it's time to direct sow early annuals such as calendula, impatiens, uh, larkspur, pansies, poppies and nigella. 
Um, so then USD zone nine to 10. So the cool growing season is in full swing here in January in nine, uh, zone nine and 10. We're in the UK, so I think we're in about zone eight, but USDA zone nine and 10. Um, the cool growing season is in full swing. So indoor veg and herbs. So you can start off seeds of eggplants, kale, lettuce, melons, peppers, squash, tomatoes and basil. These can all be sown indoors. Um, outdoor vegetables and herbs. There's a lot more variety that we can be doing this time of year in um, zone 9 and 10. So we can transplant seedlings of broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, chard and Asian greens. Um, it's also safe to direct sow several veg in your garden including arugula, cabbage, carrots, kale, lettuce, onions, peas, radishes, spinach and turnips. Um, but be sure to successional, successional sow as well to make sure that you have constant supply. Uh, cool season herbs such as chives, cilantro and parsley should also be sown outdoors now. Um, and cold hardy fruit trees such as peaches and nectarines can be planted now. But I would hold off until it warms up to plant anything that needs a bit of warmer weather such as um, citrus fruits. So indoor flowers in zone nine and zone 10. Um, if you want to get a head start, sow seeds indoors now for cosmos, marigolds, sunflowers and zinnias. Um, outdoor flowers, so outdoor flowers that can be sown in this time, this, this zone, zone nine and 10. Um, only pansies and violas are hardy, to, hardy enough to survive a surprise hard freeze. But dianthus, nasturtiums, petunias, primrose and snapdragons and sweet peas can um, survive a, a short cold spell. Um, and also most delphiniums, foxgloves and hollyhocks require some exposure to cold weather to flower well um, and get them in. So get them in early too. So as I say, I will do a video on USDA zones um, and what falls under what. Um, on the USDA zones um, if you'd like me to um, but other than that guys that's everything for me today thank you for watching please please do remember to like comment and subscribe um, please do remember to check me out on my lives um, when I do a live stream I'm not 100% sure when I'm doing a live stream this week it may have to be Saturday um, because I'm working the rest of the time um, just been uh, doing a promotion to uh, head volunteer at the charity shop that I volunteer at. So I'll be doing more um, more days more than likely. Um, but if not, um, I may do one on Thursday if I'm not going to be in work on that day. So thank you all and I shall see you all soon, um, probably in my live video. So thank you and please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching Forking Allotment. And I, as I say, all the time at this time of the year, Please do stay warm, please do stay safe, and please do stay happy. Thank you. And I shall see you all soon.